and welcome back to my channel and it's Friday so I'm today looking at my solar journey so this is a series of videos where I look at my experiences of having solar panels and a battery system and today I have a special video because it's a request so somebody called Sheila Ash has uh, commented on one of my videos it was the one about the uh, Solace app saying so, uh, can I do a video um, when there is actually solar generation happening on that video I recorded at nine o'clock at night this one I'm doing at 20 to 11 in the morning um, and it's December but we do have quite blue skies and some sun today so we are getting some solar generation and part of her question was can you film a video showing how the app updates with what's going on so hopefully this will um, answer those questions so I should also point out that I am not sponsored by um, Solace. Um, these are all my own opinions and just from my own experience of doing this. I'm not an expert on inverters um, or apps, but I'll show you roughly what's going on. Um, so what I'm going to do is, with the last video I just, vid uh, I just screen captured off my phone and recorded from my phone. Today I'm going to keep this camera rolling as well as I go through it. And hopefully I'll be able to put up the screen screenshots as I go. So I'm just starting the uh, screen uh, shock um, uh, app on my phone. I'm opening the uh, app. So hopefully now as you can see on your screen, um, I'm on the entrance screen and it's saying that today's yield is 2.8 kilowatt hours so far. So sun rose about two and a half hours ago. Um, month's yield is 34. The year yield is at 1.1 uh, megawatt hours and then we've got the current power so we have today's uh, fairly weak uh, well it's winter sun we're generating 2.3 kilowatts um, which is roughly half the capacity of our 12 uh, panels on the roof and then we got a little bit about the trees and uh, how much CO2 we've saved since having the panels installed. So I'm going to go to plant and I'm going to open the plant window. And then you get these classic diagrams of where the power is coming from. So you can see that off the roof at the moment we are generating 2.3 kilowatts. And that's added up to 2.8 kilowatt hours so far today. We're drawing nothing from the grid but we've had to import 2 kilowatts today. Um, that's because we drained the battery last night. Um, we've got a projector in the other room and we were watching um, some Christmas films on that and it does use quite a lot of power. So we drained the battery last night. And then as we scroll down, you can see that we are um, charging the battery at 1.9 kilowatts. Um, it's charged 2 kilowatts today and it's now 51% full and we've just discharged 1 kilowatt. And we have... Um, uh, 0 0.33, no, sorry, 0 0.366 uh, kilowatts go into the house. That's how much the house is using at the moment. So that's all the background stuff. Plus, my partner is, is working from home today, so she has her computer on upstairs. Underneath this, we have these bar charts um, that show the generation today. Um, so we've self used uh, 0.8 of a kilowatt hour. There's that two kilowatt hours of battery charging. We've consumed 3.8 kilowatt hours so far today, of which 2 kilowatts hours have been imported. The app has gone back to being annoying again, so in my previous video I praised Solace for sorting out decimal points on that. It seems that those have now disappeared again. So, yeah, Solace, if you're watching this, please sort that out. Um, as I say, this is not sponsored by Solace. I would like to be these videos to be sponsored, but unfortunately they're not. Um, but if Solace does actually want to come on and talk about their um, devices, I'd very happily have them on the channel. Anyway, down we have uh, the generation today. So as you can see, that from 9 o'clock, the generation has been going up. And this is our usage today. So you can see that this really um, wave-like pattern. It was triangular, and then it went square. We think this is the fridge kicking on and off over the night. And then as we woke up and started using the power about half seven-ish, um, we get a bit of a change on that. There's a bit of background uh, battery discharge throughout that time, but most of that is from the grid. One thing about this app, it doesn't refresh in real time. What you have to do is pull it back down. You can see it's refreshing. 
so it's now refreshed so you can see that we've uh, changed uh, some of the power uh, that's coming in one thing that is useful which I didn't show in the previous video if I go into devices and I go to the inverter and I scroll down here again we've got that uh, graph that we saw on the other side of our generation but below this we have PV1 and PV2 so my system is uh, set up so we have two strings of six panels um, going into the inverter so this shows what each string is producing so each six panels so you can see one uh, string of panels is operating at 224 volts producing 5.1 amps and that's a power of 1145 watts while uh, number two is at uh, 231 volts uh, 5.3 amps and uh, 1,224 um, watts. I'm not sure which way around these are because um, our strings are set up a bit weirdly because we've got those 12 panels arranged in a 3 by 4 grid. Um, so I'm not quite sure what exactly how they, exactly they are set up but it would be interesting to find out which ones are which. Um, I'm assuming the ones with the slightly lower power are the ones um, with the Tago optimizers in. And then you can see the total voltage and uh, AC uh, information below that. So that's always quite useful to find out. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the overview. So we're going back to this. I'm going to refresh it because it's been another two minutes. Not a lot has happened there, but what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to leave you for a minute while I go and turn on my oven, which is a two kilowatt oven, and see what that does to the app. So the um, oven is now on and will be drawing power. Um, so what we should find is if I refresh this, let's see if how quickly this actually updates. So it hasn't done anything yet. I'm going to do this in real time, so forgive me if this is a bit boring to watch. Still uh, hasn't updated. What I will do is I'm going to take you through into the kitchen and the utility room and show you the actual inverter while I wait for the app to update. I think there is a couple of minutes lag on it. So we're going for a little trip. So here's my inverter, so if I turn this on, you can see that the house is now pulling from this 1.9 kilowatts. Um, we're still generating 2.4 from the roof. We're still charging the battery a little bit. So this is the oven, the effect of the oven going on. So now we can go back and check if the app has uh, caught up yet. So it's been another minute since. Uh, sorry if this is a bit, of a, 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 a bit wonky. Um, the app still hasn't caught up. So there is actually quite a significant delay on using the app compared to the actual Solace inverter uh, to monitor this. Obviously the app is, uh, will data log everything as well, which the inverter does do. Oh, interestingly, if anything, the actual um, power from the house has gone down now. It's now gone down to uh, 0 0.3. So I'll give it another couple of minutes just to see if this does uh, come along. I'll continue refreshing. What I might do, just in case it's the refresh rate, is I'm going to close the app and reopen it. As you can see now, we've now produced um, three kilowatt hours today. Um, yep, the app is still showing 
the house is using three kilowatt hours rather than the uh, two that it should be with that oven on at that temperature. So what I'll do is um, I'm just going to leave the app running and this camera running. I'll and I'll just cut to it um, when we do actually when I do actually get to a point where the um, app has caught up. So I'll use the timestamps on this video to find out when I turn the other on and how long it takes to do the app of, and then I'll catch up with the video again after that. Okay, so it's literally just gone uh, over and it's now showing 2.045 uh, kilowatts um, being used by the house. So that's the sort of lag that we're talking about between what's really happening and the actual Solace app. And it's a good couple of minutes. Anyway, um, especially to Sheila, uh, thank you for commenting under uh, my videos, but also everybody else who comments under these videos, thank you for doing so. If you have any questions or any suggestions for videos, please post them in the comments um, and I'll try and uh, do my best to answer any questions or make videos about any questions you have. And um, in that case, I'll say goodbye here. Uh, take care and I'll see you again soon.